Hello, welcome to Anson Griffin's occasional series of YouTube tutorials uh, in MATLAB. Today we're looking at data cleaning in MATLAB and we're going to go through it using a MATLAB example. So let's just give the credits before we do anything. I took this example straight from the MATLAB online help. You can, I think you can just see it up there. Or if you did a Google search for clean missing and missing data in tables. Now, there is an easier way to do this, and that is the Ugly Data app. You just search for the Ugly Data app, and there it is, and you can download it yourself. And I also did a YouTube tutorial for the Ugly Data app. So if you're a little uncertain how MATLAB works, I suggest you use the Ugly Data app that's my YouTube video. Get rid of that. And you can download it from there. But we're not going to, we've that done already, so we're going to look at the example here. So I think it's fairly easy to follow. MATLAB commented it fairly well, and I did a few extra comments. And we're here in a live script in MLX file, and I have the scripts in line. So T, we're reading in a table. There's a pre-supplied a pre-supplied uh, CSV comments comma separated file called messy. And we have the results in the MLX file in line. And we can see I'll just pop it out here a little bit. And we can scroll up and down there. And we can see here that, say, where the mouse is there, that's empty. NAN is not a number. So you can see that there are a number of um, missing data. Okay, There's another NAN, etc. So we have NA and NAN, etc. So when we read that in, 21 rows and 5 variables. So let's just go on a little bit. There's so we get a summary. I'm not too pushed about the summary. You can do that yourselves. Now, so what we want to do is, if you remember in another example, we used the find command, which is an index. So is missing is an index. So we're looking at the table T and we're looking for these uh, five ways of describing a missing number and that's returned to the to tf there you can see it's a logical so you can see if i just hover over that again it comes up sorry about that but can't get there we are you can see there's a one there so that's a logical one so we're saying if it is any one of these that returns the logical then we just scroll down a little bit here and then we get the five rows here you see here we look at t at tf find the missing that's the logical index and the five rows in the second dimension there we are and we get them there so there is the five values so there's one two three minus nine times four five so there are five of them there now next thing what we're going to do is any of the values that are determined was any an na an nan or a blank we're going to int replace them with minus 99 so that's how we do that and that's a, an inbuilt matlab command so if there are missing values, we put them in with minus 99. Okay, next thing we want to do, we want to replace the three instances of minus 90 with NAN. And then what we want to do is we want to fill in the missing values. So you, know, you could do an average you could do the average of before and afterwards. You could do the take the number after the missing value, the number before the missing value, and 
they are from the MATLAB help. There they are. So what we're doing in this case is we're going to put in the previous number. So we can see that there are no missing ones and where there was missing ones, we put in the previous value. rm missing so remove the missing value so what we're going to do is we're going to create a t3 now if you remember there was 21 and there was five entries so 21 minus 5 is 16 so we would end up at 16 um a table with 16 rows yep just go down a little bit there sorry mouse jumped me ever so slightly There we have it, 16 rows by 5. And then we're just going to play a little bit at the end. We're just going to sort them. So we're going to sort it by C first, and it's descending, so that's Z, A, so we get the yeses, followed by the noes, and then, and then the yeses. There's a load of yeses, so how are they subsorted? go to column A and they're ascending so AB becomes 4AF AF becomes B A R G R becomes before J R etc and finally we just want to reorder the columns so we get column A first then column C then column B then column D and then column E Okay, hope that helps a little and we discovered one or two interesting uh, MATLAB commands. Okay, so uh, thanks for listening. Bye.